Hello, my name is Pauline and welcome back to my channel for another weekly Wednesday workout. This week we will be doing a balancing focused yoga flow. It might be a little bit challenging and that's a-okay. Go ahead and feel free to modify things or rest or put your toes down or go back and forth in and out of the more difficult poses. You know your body best. Let's get to it. We'll start in mountain pose at the front of our mat, closing the eyes, palms facing forward, steadying the breath. Take a deep inhale, exhale, sigh it out. Another breath that way. On your next exhale, keep the mouth closed. Another. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, drop the seat into chair pose. Feeling your weight in your heels. Exhale, forward fold. Put a slight bend in the knees and bend one and the other back and forth. Let the head hang loose. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Roll up one vertebrae at a time, ragdoll. And now we're going to do some sun A's. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Place the hands. Inhale, halfway up, half back. Place the hands on the mat. Step, hop, or walk to the top of a plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, draw that knee to your chest. Step that foot forward next to the right hand. Coming into a high lizard lunge. Dropping the hips, lifting the chest. Take an exhale and then inhale. Send that foot back to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, draw knee to chest. Step that foot forward next to the left hand. Lizard lunge on the other side. Lower the hips, lift the chest. On your next inhale, send that front foot back to a plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Exhale, inhale to cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward, step, hop, or walk. To a forward fold at the front of the mat. Release. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we're going to repeat that sequence. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, place the hands, step or hop to the top of a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, that right leg up. Exhale, that knee to chest. Step that foot forward, coming into a high lizard lunge, really sinking nice and deep. Inhale, that foot back to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Step that foot forward, coming into a high lizard lunge. Sink into those hips. Inhale, that foot back to the top of a plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, chest forward, cobra. Exhale, the hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, or walk to the front of your mat into a forward fold. Release. Inhale, halfway out, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Third time, and we're gonna add on. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, place the hands on the mat. Step, hop, or walk to the top of a plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, chest up, cobra. Exhale, to down dog. Inhale, that right leg up. Exhale, draw that knee to chest. Step that foot forward into our high lizard lunge. We're going to play around. Stay here. 
Now take that right elbow under that right knee and place that hand on the outside of that foot. Now go ahead and walk that left hand back so that elbow comes to the left hip. And go ahead and start to walk that front foot forward, lifting off, flying lizard. Play with this as much as you'd like. Exhale, lower down. Walk that foot back in. Come back to your high lizard lunge. You could have stayed here too. That was too much. Inhale, step that foot back, top of the plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale that left leg up. Exhale, draw that knee to your chest and step it forward. Lizard lunge, other side now. Again, playing around here. Go ahead and take that left hand on the outside of the left foot, that elbow under that left knee. Walk that right hand back so that elbow comes to that knee and start to shift that foot forward. Shift the weight forward. This can be as far as you go or you can go ahead and take off flying lizard. One side might be easier than the other. Inhale, draw that knee back in. Coming back to our lizard lunge. High lizard lunge. Inhale, step that foot back to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, let's hang out in that down dog. Take a nice pause. Bend one knee and the other back and forth. Keep in mind on these balancing poses you might have one side where it comes really easily and another side that you have to work on. That's okay. Perfectly natural. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop or walk. Forward fold. Relax here. Let's take opposite hand to opposite elbow and rock side to side back and forth. Release those hands down. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Right, though. Sweep those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice. Now go ahead, step one foot wide, facing the long width of your mat. Might want to pull your pants up. <laughs> And we're going to do some sunflower sweeps. Inhale, sweep the arms up and lengthen the spine. Exhale, lower the arms into goddess pose and squat. Inhale, up towards the sky. Exhale to squat. A few more of these. Nice. Stay up, lower the arms down. Let's heel toe the feet in a little closer together, not quite under the hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer and squat nice and deep, resting those knees on the elbows, trying to press the chest forward and up, coming into a nice squat. Now you can either stay here, maybe lower one hand and lower the other and take some breaths in those side stretches or if it's in your practice or you'd like to play around a little bit go ahead and place those hands on the ground keeping those knees on the elbows start to shift forward you might have to adjust find your placement nice wide palms and you can take off coming into flying frog play around here you can keep the toes on the ground and just shift back and forth, finding your balance if you've never done this before. It's surprisingly easier than it looks. Just really engage the pecs and the core. When you're done, go ahead, lower down, back into your squat. 
and then inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms up to standing. Exhale, hands, prayer and heart center and down. Go ahead, shake out the arms and the wrists and the legs, however you'd like. And now we're gonna take it a little differently. Bring the feet together, closer than hip width. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we're gonna take a toe squat. So go ahead, start to lower down, balancing on the balls of your feet. Now, you can stay here like this, or if you'd like to, you can start to open, bringing the bottoms of the feet together, challenging our balance. It's the focus of today. Draw that belly to spine, really engaging the core. Find a spot to stare at. Start to close the legs if you open. And then go ahead, place the hands on the ground, straighten up into a forward fold. Taking a moment here, just breathing. And now keep the hands on the ground, kind of directly under your shoulders. And we're gonna heel toe the feet so they're kind of directly straight out from our toes. Maybe you walk them back. To the edge of your mat. And then we're gonna start to go into crow pose. Now, again, nice wide palms. I like to bend my elbows out and then really feel like I'm pulling them in so my shoulders are really secure. And then I start to bend knees. Now this might be enough of a little bit of a balance for you and a hip opener. And if you'd like to, you can draw those knees to armpits and start to come onto the balls of the feet, maybe to the tippy toes, and maybe you take off. Go ahead, slowly lower down, straighten the legs, just hang out in your forward fold for a moment. Maybe you rock side to side. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to prayer above the head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice, lower them down, shake out those arms and wrists. We're more having playing around today with our poses versus going into a really intense flow that is very continuous. Sometimes it's fun to break free from that. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna go back into that toe squat. We're gonna shake it up a little bit, lowering down. Now, we're gonna to start to twist one way or the other. I'm going towards what would be your right. Open. Place them on the mat beside you. Now, you might wanna just start here and just start kind of rocking back and forth. Now, if you'd like to go in the side crow, we're gonna take the front arm. Mine's my, it'll be elbow to knee, back arm, that elbow comes to your hip. So nice and close. And then you start to bring your weight onto those arms. Start to lean that way and slowly take off side crow. Exhale, lower those toes down, slowly come back to your toe squat in the center, and then inhale up to standing. Exhale, arms down by your sides, shake it off, <laughs> good job. Inhale, sweep those arms up. You gotta do the other side, gotta be equally twisted. <laughs> Exhale, hands to heart center. Go ahead and squat down in our toe squats. After you're here, go ahead and start to twist to 
the other side now. Release those palms, placing them on the mat. Front elbow goes to the knee, back elbow goes to the hip. Start to crunch at that waist and start to shift your weight into those hands, taking off side crow. Play around. Exhale, lower down, back into your toe squat, find your center, and inhale, come back up to standing. Exhale, release, shake it out, and be twist back and forth. Let's take our feet a little wider than hip width, inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, drop that right arm, we'll stretch up and over in that side. Inhale up. Exhale, drop the other arm, stretch the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Send those toes out and go ahead and squat all the way down. Just for a moment here, really opening up those hips. Again, you can stay here if you'd like, or you can go ahead and sit down, coming kind of into a boat pose just for a moment. Then if you'd like to, you can either come from here and place the hands. This is good if you're just starting and you want to find Firefly. So we take those elbows under the knees and you can just start to lift the legs and kind of try to rock back and forth. Or if you want to go into full Firefly, come from your squat, go ahead and tuck those arms up, lifting the hips. Fingertips aimed forward. And start to shift the weight back, head forward though. And lift those toes, walking them forward, coming into firefly. Maybe you lift one toe and the other toe both. This one's a tough one. Feel like you're lifting up through the shoulders. And then go ahead, walk those feet back in, or you can just sit down. We're going to take a moment in that squat again, and then inhale up to standing. Exhale, lower those hands. Nice. Shaking out the arms. We're gonna switch to some standing balancing poses as a break for our wrists and hands. You can shake those out if you need to. Lots of compression. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Lift that right knee. Exhale, hands to heart center. Go ahead, place that foot either on the ankle, shin, or above the knee. Making your way into tree pose. Finding a focal point to stare at, help you keep your balance. And you can inhale, opening up the tree limbs to the sky. Hanging out here in the breeze. It's okay if we wiggle. You can see the tree behind me moving. Exhale, lower the hands down. We're going to take the peace finger bind, opposite hand to opposite foot, big toe. You can either keep that knee bent and straighten it out and start to send the opposite arm back, twisting at the core, standing nice and long and tall in the spine, breathing here. Exhale, bring the same hand, big toe, and open that foot to the side, keeping the hips as even as you can. You can also do this with a bent knee. 
you don't want to extend that leg, that is A-OK. -okay. Exhale to lower that foot and arms down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Lift up the left knee to majorette. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now you can either place that foot low or up nice and high into that hip. Finding our tree pose on the other side and opening up our limbs when we feel like it. Keep breathing. Exhale those hands down and take peace finger bind of the opposite hand to the opposite foot. Straighten it out, lift up through the spine. Exhale, start to twist towards that leg. Keep breathing. Go ahead and bring same hand, same foot now, and open that to the side. Modifying however you need to. Taking breaks whenever you need to. Go ahead, exhale, lower that foot down. Coming into mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, drop that right arm, stretch up and over towards that direction. Inhale up. Exhale, stretch up and over, other side. Inhaling back up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to take one final balancing pose before coming down to our mat, Bird of Paradise. If you already know this pose or have done it, feel free to go hog wild. <laughs> if you haven't, it's A-OK -okay to modify this and not go full out on the first try. That's completely normal. <laughs> so let's start to get it. It's still a great shoulder opener and nice hip opener if you're holding the beginning entrance. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, let's swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold, placing the hands on the mat. Now start to come to the ball of the right foot, bending that right knee. We're gonna take same arm as leg, under, taking that hand up. Inhale, take the other arm up and over, grabbing hold. And then on your next inhale, start to lift up through that leg, standing leg, and send that up. Now you can stay here if you'd like, or you can extend that leg out straight, full birds of paradise. Holding it as long as you'd like. Exhale, lower it down. Release that bind. Go ahead and rock back to forth. And now we're going to do the other side. So come to the ball of the left foot. Take that underneath, up and over with the other hand. And on your inhale, start to lift up through that leg, taking off, straightening that leg, finding your birds of paradise on the other side. Take your time, hold it as long as you'd like to. And exhale, lower down, slow and controlled to a forward fold. Go ahead, place those hands on the mat and just lower the hips down, coming to seated. Send the feet nice and wide out on the mat. 
We're just going to take a short stretch to release the lower back. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and round the spine as much as you'd like. Inhale, walk those hands up and go ahead and take one leg to the other and make your way down to lying flat on your back and I will guide you through Shavasana. Whew. Inhale, straighten the arms above the head, point your toes, lengthen the body and on your exhale, completely let go of any control or tension. Let go of your control, of your breath, and just be present. Start to release with the toes, arches of the feet, ankles, shins, calves, through the knees, quads, hamstrings and glutes, up the core and spine from the lower back all the way through your rib cage, into your shoulder blades, down through your arms, to your wrists, palms and fingertips unclench any tension in your neck, jaw, eyes, and forehead. Start to come back to your body by wiggling the toes and fingers, rolling the ankles and wrists, rocking the limbs side to side. Bring awareness back to your breath by inhaling and lengthening the arms above the head, pointing the toes. And then exhale, draw knees to chest into your fetal position, rocking side to side and dropping to one side, keeping your eyes closed. Slowly make your way up to a seated position. And then on your next inhale, sweep the arms up above your head. Exhale, hands to heart center in prayer. Thank yourself for taking this time for you. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this week's yoga flow. If you did, give it a like or comment down below what your favorite part was and subscribe so you don't miss next week's workout. See you again soon. Bye.